Hi everyone, so this is kind of um, an extension of the tutorial I did about making the open house um, interactive slides published to the web. So one of the things we talked about in that tutorial was when we are putting um, icons for people to click, we wanted to be really careful with our text boxes and that they didn't cover the picture because the picture is what's clickable. So I wanted to show you something else that you could do um, to make it a little easier. So I'm here in Google Drive again, and I'm on slides, but I'm actually gonna go into PowerPoint, and I just opened up a new blank presentation. I just changed the layout to blank. Um, slides is really like PowerPoint, but on the internet and for Google, so they have a lot of the same similarities, but I like PowerPoint because we can save things as a picture and then we can insert it into our Google Drive. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to pretend that I want my icons to be little glitter circles this time and not the clouds. So I'm going to go to insert a picture. I'm going to do online pictures and a box will pop up just like it would on Google Slides and I'm gonna search for glitter. And all these choices come up. I like the gold one, so I'm gonna click on that and press insert. Now I want my icons to be a circle. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna remove the text and I want this to be a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to picture format and where it says crop, I'm gonna say crop to shape and I'm going to pick a circle. And it comes out like an oval, but I can play with the little squares and I can make it a perfect little circle. So now I have my little glitter circle. And I want to add some text boxes to this because I want it to say all about me. So I'm going to go to my home screen and I'm going to get a text box. And I'm going to put a text box right here that says all about me. And for right now, I'm just going to make it white. Oops. I'm going to make it bold, and we can make it a little bit bigger, center it. And now what I'm going to do is I want to group it all together. So I'm going to just use my cursor and go over everything. That's one way to do it. You could also click the text and hold down the command button and click the picture. Um, on Google Slides, it's actually holding down the shift button, not the command button. But then I'm gonna to go to a range up here and I'm gonna press group. So now this is all just one, sorry, my computer's a little slow, one big thing that I can move around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna press save as picture. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna call this all about pick. It's now saved on my desktop. Um, one thing you want to make sure when you're saving it, I'm going to click in again just so you can see. When I save it as a picture, you want it to say PNG. We don't want the background to appear. Okay, so I could make as many of these as I wanted. I'm going to go back to the internet and back on my Google slide. I'm going to do the one that I just did for the tutorial. And instead of having this cloud say all about me with the text box kind of following it around, I'm gonna delete this and I'm going to delete this and I'm going to insert the image that I just put out, so all about me pick and For it to come up. Sorry, the rainbow wheel is spinning. Sorry, this is taking so long. I don't know why. 
but it will come up in a minute. I have faith. And come on. All right, so I'm going to link this now so I can link it to not slide one because we're on slide one. Link it to slide number two and press apply. And now you'll see when I go into present that I can now click this and it goes right to the All About Me page. Pretty cool. So that's a way to make your own little icons if you really wanted to do so.